Hello and welcome once again to Rimworld. So in the last couple of episodes we've been making some progress towards our base. Um, we've managed to blow up the majority of this area that we wanted to clear so that we can have a dumping stockpile up here. Again, I'm not entirely sure how large I want this area, just because uh, I don't know how long this area is going to be and I want them to be roughly the same length, just to keep it, you know, in line. Um, then again, I suppose if I'm going to stop it somewhere, I've got to stop it soon, because otherwise there won't be enough room on this side to actually have any useful building. So I might just go the whole way through, or I might stop it roughly where it is now. But we'll see. Um, it doesn't stop me starting to use the room, which I probably will do. Um, it's probably going to be a higher preference uh, room than like these dumping stockpiles are. And I may also sort of do several dumping stockpiles to limit what goes in each square. Uh, just so that I don't end up with, you know, tons of a brick that I'm not using. Uh, and then, you know, the stuff I am using all goes down here. So I might sort of have a small dumping stockpile just for slag, a small one just for limestone blocks, and a small one just for slate blocks, just to make sure I get an even spread of what I want there. Um, our growing zone is coming along quite nicely. Uh, we're actually getting the sun lamp in one of them. Not that it's going to actually be useful yet. Uh, not until we actually get this power connected up and the rest of the walls built. Uh, because at the moment, these heaters are just going to be heating up empty space outside, so not going to be the greatest. Uh, but let's speed up time and uh, get stuff done. Uh, we also had a raid in the last episode that um, didn't go well for the raiders. However, they did prove that uh, some of my defences are a little lax. Um, as some of their people decided to come over here and start breaking this wall, as opposed to going through the kill box. So the more beefy I make my kill box, the more likely it is that I start getting people tunneling through, you know, the cliffside to get to me instead. So, yeah. Uh, that's why there's this sort of little monstrosity here uh, that um, I'm hoping to build. That will... Uh, you know, hopefully dissuade people from trying to break through all of these layers of walls instead of just going round the edge or round through the kill box. Um, once this is built as well, I also want to start putting a few guns here and there around the base, um, sort of around that courtyard area, just so that if something drops in the middle or they do find a way round, there's still some guns in the base that will be shooting at them. Um, I don't want them to get away scot-free just because they, you know, drive around the base. Really? I hate psychic drones, they're so annoying. And a medium level, that is going to really upset some people. 22? Damn you! That, that really does annoy people. Uh, right. I want a couple of lights in our fridge, uh, because at the moment it's very dark in there, and when people walk through they get a little bit upset. So, put a few lights here and there. Thankfully at this point we do have enough power. Um, same can be said for our stock room, really. That's... Although a stock room as well, I do want to put in um, orbital trade beacons. So what? One there and one just there. So I suppose the lights can go next to those. room is the same size, so I can't stick one right in the middle. Uh, two lights will be fine, I suppose. Meteorite of silver. We keep getting silver meteorites. I'm not complaining. 
But wow. Might as well actually dig them out at this point. Major break risk. Eek. Yeah, see, this is the problem with psychic drones. Oh my god, it's gone up to 40? Minus 40? That's just wrong. Like, I'm not surprised my people are upset. Ooh, we've finished the turrets. Uh, so we've got long uh, range guns done now. Uh, so let's go back to here and get auto cannons. So once we have the auto cannon turrets, uh, I think we can. Oh no, they need pulse charged munitions. Um, where is pulse charged munitions? Oh, there. Well, we can research that right now. Okay, we'll do that. Um, because if we can start making some of these little laser turrets, I will feel much better about, you know, the ones we've got getting damaged. Because uh, at the moment, if they get destroyed, we can't make any more. Um, I mean, we do have a lot of other turret types now, but I like those turrets. They're awesome. So... Damn it. Okay. So that's one square off the back wall, one square off the front, uh, the side wall. And then one more in the middle. In fact, we'll have a row of five of them. Yeah, that'll be fine. Nice row of five sniper turrets. They might make every other turret explode. Um, oh god. So you're gonna go break things in your bedroom. You're gonna go break a silver double bed. In Target's bedroom. Really? You decided to break Target's bed? That's just not fair. Like, I feel sorry for Target. <laughs> That's just evil. Uh, Target, wake up and go and install a double bed. Right, and that bed is yours, Target. I still can't believe that they decided to break Target's bed. Like, break your own stuff, yeah, don't go into somebody else's room and break theirs. That's just not fair on them. Did get some of the silver back for it though, so that's not too terrible. And it's not like we didn't have any more beds that we could just fit there. <clears throat> Which is always nice. Well, we've got all these turrets built now, which is good. Still waiting on one just there. It is nice that we're getting these turrets in. Um, it just means that uh, we're a little bit safer if we get rushed. You know, the more things shooting the enemy, the quicker the enemies will die. And the less chance there is the enemies destroy all of our guns and then, you know, just burst through and kill us. Digging up all the silver, lovely. Wow, we're not actually getting much silver, are we? Wow. How much silver is it to make a double bed? Double bed in silver. 850. Oh my god! No wonder we get so much when we break these things down. I had no idea they were worth that amount. <laughs> that's kind of a, that's kind of insane. Oh my god, Lippy, where are you? <laughs> Out there. Wonderful. Uh, and there's a visitor. Okay, well. 
as the bear gets closer to us, I'll be able to sort of get inside, get inside, get inside. Oh my god, why aren't my turrets shooting at the bear? Uh, no, no. You guys, stay inside. Oh god, come on, Lippy. Oh, thank god he made it. Lock the door. That, just go away there. Eat something out there. Don't try and eat my colonists. Ah, there we go. It's going after an antelope instead. Or a, a deer. Or something else. Okay, well, that... That grizzly bear needs to die. A target? Come here, please. There we go. Shoot that thing dead. That's what you get for going after one of my colonists. All the grizzly bear. Um, I'm actually considering trying to tame some of these guys. You're the youngest, we'll, we'll try and tame you. Now our current one is female. So if we tame them both, we'll end up with a breeding pair. We'll try and tame two of them just in case, but Because muffalo aren't a terrible thing to have. Um, you know, they provide a lot of meat if we decide that, you know, we need meat. They give us milk. Uh, they give us wool. Um, and they're also very good pack animals to uh, take with us when we're, you know, going to trade. So, yeah, I think getting some breeding sets of them might be a nice thing to do. Uh, wool has been inspired and will do better at surgery. Okay, well, no one needs surgery at the moment, and I'm hoping they don't ever need it. Um, wow, you're really bad with animals. Why are you on handling duty? I, I don't get it. Huh. We'll just leave it to you. A wall might have been on it because... No, was wall... Were we sending wall on sort of trips outside? I can't remember now. I think we were. Eh, never mind. It was a while ago and I can't remember because I'm terrible. Mental break. You're resting. Well, go rest then. Recreation unfulfilled. Like, half of these you could just do by, you know, going to bed, going to eat. Just take care of yourself, man, and you'll be fine. Right, a lot of these trees are going to have to come down before this wind turbine goes up. Otherwise, they're not going to work. Let's... Really? None of them are actually choppable yet? But they say they can be there. Yeah, I suppose it's all cut plant rather than chopped down. Yeah. I suppose what I could do is just put the concrete down. Yeah, that works. 
Chicago Pops. Full of fox fur. Well, okay, I'm not gonna turn in my nose up at it, you know, it's... Concrete just there as well. I keep putting more things to build in. I should just leave my people to build what's there, but I... Then I'm just sitting and doing nothing, and that's boring, so I just keep adding more and more work for them to do. <laughs> Which I know is bad, but... yeah. I suppose we can dig that out now, we've started putting the wall in there. And to be honest, I think... I don't think we're in, you know, much danger of it collapsing on us. So let's get a dumping stockpile here. Um, 10 by 5? Yeah, that'd be fine. So this one wants to be preferred. Don't allow rotten, don't allow fresh. Just wants, um, go away. Just wants chunks, and this one is just going to be for... Uh, the slag chunks. Golden steel slag chunks. I don't even think I've ever seen a gold slag chunk, but okay. Uh, but yeah. So that one is just for the slag chunks. And as I say, we'll build another one for the uh, slate and the limestone slag chunks. Eventually. I suppose we can do it now. Is this going to just connect to that one? No, it didn't. Thank you. So what? 10 by 10 for this? Yeah, that'll be fine. Once again, preferred. Clear all. Including you two. Oh, actually, no. It's best to leave those two ticked, actually. Just because otherwise it causes problems with um, certain things. And this will be just for limestone. And then we want one more dumping stockpile. Again, a 10 by 10. So it looks like that's where we're cutting this room off. Um, clear all, and this is just for slate chunks. Once again, preferred. There we go. So that's going to be the walls for it. So, 10 by 10, that's 100 chunks in there, 100 chunks in there, and 50 in here. And why is there a dead timber wolf pile? Because corpses, for some reason, stayed on. I don't want corpses. Get rid of it, please. Won't haul. Typical. You get rid of that. Oh dear. What are you doing? Oh, you just went out to clean. Really? There's so many things you could go out and haul, but no, no. Just gotta clean that one little square and then come home. Never mind. Never mind. Could be worse, I suppose. I'm not entirely sure how, but it probably could be worse. Now, oh, all this is getting uh, sorted, which is nice. And 
and yep, we're actually building up a stockpile of the items I've learned. Which should make it easier for people like Squid that are, you know, making blocks. Because, you know, they just have to walk into this room as opposed to all the way down here to this stockpile. Right, now I'm going to want some lamps in here as well. Just because otherwise it's going to be far too dark. Yeah, that'll do. And same for in here. I am, of course, going to have to uh, put some more wires in so that it actually uh, gets power and can light everything up. Yeah, that's pretty good. Look at that. Another piece almost finished. So very soon we are actually going to finish this off and be able to grow. Uh, now we are sort of growing in here. Uh, it's now obviously the growing season even though it's sort of still cold outside. But they're not going to grow because there's no light. Target, if you could prioritise working on that. And Lippy, if you could prioritise working on the actual power cable itself, that will probably, you know, help us along a bit. We are out of, uh, you know, plants to cook with at the moment. Are you still... Yeah, you're hauling more stuff to the sun lamp. Good. Prioritise, prioritise. Yes, it's unfortunate that I have to tell him to do all of them, but if I don't, he'll miss them. Perfect. So that will now come on during the day, and uh, our rice plants will start growing. Lovely. Get those built in all of the rooms. And that will be quite nice. But I think that is a decent wrapping up point, so we are getting some more of our construction done. Uh, hopefully in the next couple of episodes a lot of these rooms will be complete. And then we can, you know, start worrying about our next big project. Um, and next episode I will definitely have a look at that bulk trader, but uh, hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, please like, comment and subscribe. And I shall see you next time.